Okay, so on to question four. For the oxidation reduction reaction equation given here, 2K plus F2 makes 2KF. Indicate how many electrons are transferred in the formation of one formula unit of product. Okay, so first let's just write down the reaction. And then just make sure everything is balanced. We have two potassium and two fluorines on each side. Okay, so now we just need to separate into its half reactions, so oxidation and reduction. So if we recall the acronym LEO-GER, We can remember that losing electrons is oxidation and gaining electrons is reduction. And we can also look at whether or not the oxidation number is increased or decreased. So in the case of potassium, it starts off with an oxidation number of zero and it ends up with an oxidation number of plus one. So this means that the potassium was oxidized. In the case of the fluorine, it goes from an oxidation number of zero to minus one. So since its oxidation number decreased, we can see it got reduced. Okay, so now let's write out the oxidation reaction, which was 2K makes 2K plus plus two electrons. And in the case of the fluorine, F2 plus two electrons made two F minus. So therefore, two electrons are transferred. So the reason we know that it's two is because since there's a coefficient of two in front of the potassium ion, then we need to neutralize this and add two electrons to our reactant side. In the case of the reduction reaction, we have two negatively charged fluorine ions, so we need to add two electrons to the reactant side to make sure that everything is balanced in that equation as well. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. When a chemical re reaction in a substance loses one or more electrons, it is called an oxidation reduction reaction. The substance which loses the electrons is said to be oxidized, and the substance which accepts it is referred to as reduced. The half reactions for this redox are 2K makes 2K plus plus two electrons, and F2 plus two electrons makes 2F minus. So two electrons are moved in the development of one equation unit of item. Yep, so the solution is correct. Okay, so now let's move on to question.